All right, g'day guys. Welcome back tonight to another uh, Realmworks video. Tonight we're going to be having another look at the uh, XML transformation script uh, that's been written by 8bits over on the forums. Um, for anyone who hasn't followed along or seen the previous video on this, uh, this script is what is going to allow you to basically print your Realm. Um, and it's been updated now. It's got a GUI uh, and it can basically export to Microsoft Word uh, or it can export to HTML. Um, and it's, it's just so much easier to use than the last time we looked at it. So let's jump over and have a look. All right, so in front of me, you can see the Realmworks uh, forums. Uh, so for anyone who hasn't seen this before, you can come into the forums and find this uh, thread here. So the XML transformation script uh, in PowerShell. Uh, if you click into that, you'll see that there's a link here uh, over to uh, 8Bits' Realmworks export uh, GitHub. Uh, and you can basically download it using the link that's provided. All right, that's going to download a folder uh, that basically I've already uh, put onto my, my computer and I've ex exported it here. Um, and you can see here that I've already actually taken some extracts uh, from Realmworks basically using the, uh, the share functionality, uh, manage exports, and I've done some exporting here. All right, if you don't know how to do this, please do see my other videos on how to export content. Uh, because basically that's all that's required. Um, I will state while I am here uh, that you do need to do a compact output, not a full export. So the difference being that a, a compact output is uh, to export to a file that can be used by applications other than Realmworks. Uh, so in this case here, it's basically just doing a raw output, which is exactly what we need. So that's what these two files are. I've already done that. Um, and basically we're just going to jump straight into using the script. Um, so a massive thanks to 8Bits for what he's done. Uh, he has been labelled a treasure to the community uh, and I'll say he absolutely deserves it. Um, let's jump in though and let's see what he's done. Uh, this Realmwork export GUI or WR export GUI.ps1 is what you want to run. Let that happen. As you can see, we now have an interface. It's really easy to use. We're going to come through here. We're going to select the script file. Um, it's in the same folder. So we're going to go Realmwork export to HTML. Uh, we're going to select a source file. This is the file that basically Realmworks is uh, going to look at. So we're going to go the testing export. Uh, we're going to do the first one with HTML. Um, we're going to save it in a destination file. So test HTML output. Uh, we'll leave that there. We've got a few options here. Um, we'll turn that on. That looks about right. We'll let that run. All right, so while the script's running, you'll see the run script button is grayed out. All right, you can see it is running in the background, and you can see that now the run script button has re-enabled itself, indicating that it's done. All right, so as you can see, that didn't take very long. So let's jump over uh, and have a look in our folder, because this is where we put it. And as you can see, it's created a test HTML output.html. If we open that, look at that. We now get including linking um, and some nice you know headings and things a full file of the export so this is a, an export of my Arcanus world uh, as you can see here it comes through the the credits uh, we get an overview of the credits you can see it's it's bolding things there's linking which is brilliant uh, it's all structured the way it should be I mean let, let's be honest guys He's created a damn export to PDF that you could almost basically put onto, um, you know, uh, dmsguild.com or a drivethroughrpg.com uh, with a bit of extra formatting. Um, you know, he's basically just made it so we can start using Realmworks as a tool to produce PDFs. Um, it's it's fantastic. Um, absolutely hats off, 8 -bitch. You've done some amazing work. Uh, the fact that you've got linking working. Uh, I know pictures are working. I've seen them before wherever I link them. There's one there, for example. There we go. You can click the link and bring it up. I mean, mate, hats off. Well done. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Um, so, yeah, if you want to print your realm, uh, it's now as hard as going to print. Okay. Um, this is something that is really quite accessible to everyone now. Uh, I feel that the first time uh, the script was released and the first time I ever did a video, uh, we had to obviously play around with security settings and things, and I felt that was a little bit of a, a challenge to basically get people up and running. This changes things. This makes it so that it is absolutely fantastic. 
Um, and yeah, it's it's basically, you know, it's far beyond what I thought it would be. But while we're here, let's jump over and have a look at some other options. Okay, so we've got the same things here. We do have a big option here for Word with organized topic headings and uh, a table contents. So let's explore that. We're basically going to change the destination file to a docx. All right, if I'd run uh, with HTML and this option, it would have spat me out an error that said, please change it to docx. So I'll do that anyway and click run script and let's see what happens. I'm going to scale those pictures by 50% this time. All right, so just so you guys can see it, it is running on the other screen here. And it's automatically going through and creating this world for word file for me. Smashing it through. It's really quite fascinating to watch it do its thing. All right, there we go. Uh, script button's turned back on. And if I have a look, we now have a test HTML output docx. All right, it's got testing export. And here we go. Uh, as you can see, we've got a full um, content on the over on the left. Uh, we can scroll through and it's it's all in a nice word format. It's highlighted things. It's given them headings. Uh, and obviously, I'm familiar with the content, so I, I can tell uh, exactly what I'm looking at because uh, obviously I've, I've imported it. I recognise it. Is that a link? What is that? Don't know what that is. There we go. So that's obviously fantastic because you know now you can export to Word um, and you can make a PDF out of this, for example. It seems quite simple to do. I think I prefer the HTML output, but I can certainly understand why this would be uh, easy. I'm personally thinking I'm going to use this for spell checking. All of the content that I put in, I can write it. Then at the end, when I'm getting ready to release, I can basically just press go. Um, and export it out to Word, and then from there, here we go. Like for example, I know that's certified items, so that's fine. I, I can basically use this to look for spelling errors. Um, you know, that, that's a workaround for something that a lot of people have been asking for on the forums. There's one there. All right, so if we look in mundane items, I'll find that there's a spelling error. Wow, uh, that's quite handy. Uh, you can see the pictures come across quite nicely, and there we go. That's, um, yeah, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. All right, so just uh, let's have another look uh, here. You can see there's the option to save scripts and load scripts. Um, this just basically lets you basically get happy with your, your settings and save it so you don't need to keep doing it every time. Um, and yeah, it, it, it seems like a really quite logical tool to use. Uh, you can enable a log file if you are having issues. I suggest you turn that on. Um, and basically, it seems you can get support by uh, posting on the forums uh, over in the uh, the forum thread. Um, and 8Bits will come along and uh, assist you in basically getting you up and running if you are having concerns. Um, but, mate, hats off. Well done. Uh, you've made it uh, absolutely functional. Uh, you've made it easy to use. Uh, and I think everyone's going to get some really good use out of it. So, a little round of applause, mate. Um, so there you go, uh, there you go, guys. That is basically uh, 8Bits' XML transformation script. Uh, it's very easy to use. It's very quick. It's very efficient, and it uh, pumps things out in, uh, in other formats, which I know people have been looking forward to. So, going to be really interesting to see what people do with it. Um, if you've got any questions, if there's any videos you'd like to see, please do leave them in the forums below. Uh, if you are finding this sort of content useful, please do. Uh, um, subscribe to uh, make sure that you see any future videos that do come out as they come out. Um, and apart from that, guys, I will speak to you on the forums. Have a great day.